Hello guys, welcome back. This is the announcement video of my course, which I have launched recently on my website. So this is gonna be complete end to end project course where I have taught you about how we can source the tables from different locations and then dump that data into the raw data lake. Then how we can move those raw data lake into, into the plans data lake, how we can remove the nulls and do some checks, data quality checks and so on. After that, I have also told you how we can write uh, smart logic like business logic and then how we can dump that data the final data into the published layer which 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 can be a data warehouse database even though gen 2 okay after that i have told you about some tip and tricks which which we have to follow while we are creating ads pipelines or writing notebooks like we have used the parameterization method we have used the metadata method we have used the json method to avoid multiple pipelines after that i also told you how we can send the data to our end users using logic app or using python script as well as i also also told you how we can create how, how we can create the report out of my published data using power bi after that i also told you some automation tips let's say we have a server which needs to be stopped or which needs to be start whenever we are doing some processing so that also i have told you in this course apart from this at the last i have also told you how we can create a CI CD pipelines, how we, how, how we can push the code to the GitHub, how we can create complete pipelines uh, and how we can create the code checks pipeline also. Okay, so first understand what is the architecture of it and then we'll move forward to the course. So here, if you can see, this is the source. We have CSV files, SQL files, API, PDFs, and then we have Excel. So these sources, we have it. Then what we have done, like, you know, we just copy all these things. CSV means blob storage or maybe a Gen2 location. And then the SQL tables means from one database, API, you know. So all these things I copied using a ADF and I put it into my raw data lake. Okay, and this PDF I have used with the help of uh, Azure Databricks. I copy this from uh, source to my sync layer. Okay. After that, what I have done, I have I have cleansed the data and put it into the raw data lake. Remove some nulls, do some checks over there, and then put it over the raw data cleanse data lake. Then what I have done, I created business logics. I write mart. I created dimension fact tables, and then I put it into this mart data lake. After that, once the data is ready, we have to publish into my final layer. So I have published into the data lake as well as as well as as well as through the SQL tables, or it could be SQL data warehouse. Okay. Then what actually we have to do, we have this access files. Here we are having some, here we are having some emails ID and something. Let's say I'm owning, let's say I'm owning a two products and I have to see what is the, uh, what is the KPI of it? No, without, without opening the Power BI or let's say my organization doesn't have the Power BI and the user wants to know what is the data which is refreshed today after some applying some logics and all. So he wants to see that thing. Okay, in the Excel format or CSV format, so that he can also uh, you know read it. So how we can do that? We can do via Logic App. Okay, apart from this, we can also write some Python script, PowerShell script also with the help of Pandas, SMTP library. Also, we can do. But since we are working on Azure, and I just want to tell you, ki, you know what is the logic and and you know how the pipelines work in the Azure data things, Azure data engineering. So that's why I have you know pulled the data out of it and then you know send do some logics over there and with the help of logic app i'll just send the emails apart from this i also told you what is automation account run book okay how we can set up that and how we can use of it and what is the application of it and then i also told you about the power bi what is power bi how we can create a report out of it and then do some checks over there in the power bi also apart from this i have also shown you the ci cd pipelines what is ci cd pipelines what is azure devops how we can what is build what is artifact what is release and other stuff okay now let's come to my website so this is my website if you can see here i have mentioned everything over here like what you will be learning I, you will be learning azure database azure data factory logic app key vault automation account auto loader sql database app registration azure blob storage azure gen 2 azure devops ci cd pipeline so we will be using all this technology in my project so see i'm not going to teach you what is csv file how we can read the csv file how we can write the csv file all those things you can learn it from any website any youtube channel even from my youtube channel okay so this project is regarding if you already know azure database azure data factory azure blob storage and you do not know you do not know that how companies work okay so this project is regarding for those people only if you do not know azure databricks azure like if you do not know even the basics so first go and learn azure databricks at least and then you can learn azure data factory the basic thing and sql python is mandatory 
Okay, I have also mentioned the example which I have shown over the uh, over my you know course that parameterization of the multiple area pipelines to reduce the cost and reduce depth. Right? And then I also check. I also told you like you know how we can uh, create the data quality checks and so on. Then all these routines over here. And then pre request of this course is understanding of area of data breaks and understanding of Python and SQL. Now we come to the course curriculum part. Here we have, we have first introduction and architecture. And then I told you like, let's understand Azure resources. What is data lake? How we can set up the account over the, over the Azure portal. And then how we can prepare the data and upload into the respective sources. After that, I told you about, you know, how we can ingest the data. You can see all these things are present over, over here. And it is of two hours video. I mean, you know, we have some sub modules also over here. And then we have cleansing process and data quality checks. If you can see, we have these many videos over here. Then we have created uh, the dimensions and uh, fact tables. And then I have also published the data into the ADFs using not ADF, like SQL databases using ADF. And then we have the setup complete ADF pipeline. So this is up to here. I will be adding more more content, more chapters into this course. Like now Power BI is pending. Now automation and account is pending. And now CICD pipelines are pending and some updates on the pipeline. Okay, so I will be uh, adding all these things into this course only. And I hope that you will like it and you will love it. If you are someone who is very fresher, you do not take this course. And But if you know something about the Azure Data Engineer thing and who just want to do some project, then please, please go and take this course. You will love it. I am definitely sure. Chalo, thank you. Bye-bye.